What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is a Gray Zone Warfare video. Hey, I know it's been a while, but I think it's time to talk about it. We're going to talk about what's going on with the title and what I believe is going to happen in the future and some things I wish they would change. But before I do that, I would encourage everybody to join the Caliber Collective. It's a group of tactical FPS gamers. It's an organization built by the player for the player, and there's lots of opportunity within it. So feel free to join if you have not already. So, Gray Zone, the performance. Ever since about week two of the early access, my performance has gotten worse and worse and worse. I've upgraded my PC, I've messed with all the settings, and it's unplayable in some areas, naming mostly Tiger Bay and, and all the tier three areas in general, the bunker, so on and so forth. There's just issues with it that I can't quite put my finger on, but it does not need to be happening in a game like this. And a lot of the opinions that I'm reflecting here, guys, are not just my own, it's, it's a lot of people within the CC. And we've pretty much narrowed it down to those two things, performance and content. I know that they're going to be doing their first content wipe. Last I heard it was rumored to be late fall, early winter. And I hope that does bring a lot of players back and, and hopefully they have their performance smoothed out or it's going to be a disaster. It blows my mind with the money that they made, the initial sales, over half the orders that they had, they said was not even the standard edition. They made millions of dollars. And in just a few months, they have a quarter of the concurrent player base of scum. And I know I'm not a game developer. I know I'm speaking from a lot of ignorance here, but I do not understand how you can make that much money. I know about what the current rate is for paying game developers, testers, things like that. And I do not understand how we're sitting here in July and the game is in its current state. So theory is they had a lot of investors that they had to pay back Two, it's greed. And three, maybe they just think they don't need it. But at this point, it's kind of crazy to me that they have not. I just don't understand how they haven't really tripled, maybe even quadrupled their development team and really accelerated the development of the game, smoothing out everything. I, I just it, it blows my mind. I don't get it because there's all these other indie developers that don't make near the money that they made and they make it work. They smooth things out. They're very efficient. They don't have to backtrack on builds. They get it done. And I, I, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. I love the game. I'm very hopeful for the game. You know, with, with, with my experience with the little bit that I had with the VIP program and, and early stuff, you know, it seemed like they had a lot of things going for them. I wish they would have used those guys, you know, to, to really test things a little bit better, maybe get, get people some hands-on builds to the game to really iron out stuff. And I, again, you know, I know I keep repeating it. I just don't understand how they can make that much money. You know, after initial sales, I understand having issues early. I understand all that stuff. It is an early access title. I've said it. They've said it a million times. I got it. But now you have the financial backing to really push the game and you're slow rolling it. That brings me to retention. Retention issue I've spoke about to many of my friends, and it's not a secret in the world we have today. You know, people are going through games like they're going through TikToks. They're scrolling, you know, moving on to the next thing, looking for the next big dopamine hit. And I, I really believe from a developer standpoint that if you're making a game, you better have multiple years of content ready to go and you push it out weekly, bi-weekly, quickly, retaining the player, keeping the attention on your game. Because when it starts to die, man, it's really hard to bring it back. There's way too many games out there, dude. There's like, you gotta think when, when you were growing up, I know a lot of people are around my age watching this video, I got the analytics. I mean, think about when we were growing up, there was only a few game developers, you know, and it was all AAA, but now you have all these indie developers, more AAA titles, more AAA developers, pushing out game day after day. It seems like every single time I wake up and look at social media or my email it's some new game that's popped up and there's always something shiny and great right around the corner so if i'm making a game today i have two years of content already finished i know that's ambitious i know that's hard i, I get it but they've made their money and they need to do something about that launching the game without ground zero even active anything inside of the actual final points of the game is pretty crazy I know they said it was 20% of their content, but again, we're here in July and we've had a face mask. That's it. Uh, that's awesome. Cool. Multi-million dollar, a face mask. You know, it's kind of, I don't know, man. I, I, you know, I like Mara. I like the, I like the developers. They seem very passionate, but man, I do not get that. It just, it blows my mind. It, it's, it's crazy. So maybe it'll be something a year from now two years from now maybe the big content patch you know 
I hope it doesn't bring a whole lot of other issues and people are getting 25 frames, you know, 10 frames at uh, YBL, you know, trying to do a night cycle. Uh, I, hope, I hope we don't have to do all this over again. But at this point, man, I'm, I'm it's it's not looking too good. Uh, I, I hope I'm wrong and it can be turned around because the people I mean, all these developers that have made 5% of the money that they've made, you know, outdoing them with content performance updates. It's just it's it's kind of unacceptable, man. It's it's silly. You know, one thing that I would have done is that they run a, a public test build where they test their games and they offer no reward for it. They don't they don't give you anything for it. They want you to just to help them. And that's great. You know, I think people, I played it a little bit. I think people should help them and, and do all that stuff. But you're offering no incentive to help build the game. You're offering nothing. And, uh, you know, again, you should probably <laughs> you have multi-million dollars. You should probably pay for testers, too. I know you have your developers testing, but you should, you know, bring in 50 testers um, and, and have them play these builds. You, you can afford it. You should be able to afford it by now. Um, and I, I, I think uh, I think that needs to be kind of in focus and get the performance ironed out. It should not take this long with the, the money that they have. OK, I know it's I know it's Unreal 5. I know they have this, their Scala technology and all that stuff. That's great. But I mean, they have the resources now to cover it all and get it ramped up and push it faster and again, retain the player. I think the initial wipe was fun. I think the starter area was fun. You know, the PVE, I think it was pretty good. The loop, you know, going into tier two, having a little bit of PVP interaction, it was good. But again, you get to tier three in the performance and 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 then, you know, kind of run out of content pretty quickly. And we're in July, hey man. And after making all that money, you, you can't really, they have nothing to blame but themselves, man. I know that sounds very pessimistic and I hate to do these videos. I really try to keep my videos my content on my channel playing games not really talking about games but i feel like i owe it to people that kind of found me through grays on warfare to kind of give you my opinion on it and i know again it's not just mine when i look through the collective and we talk about grays on warfare those are the two main things performance and content and to make all that damn money and we're still talking about that three months later is is kind of baffling so that's it guys hope you all enjoyed the video if you have any thoughts leave them in the comments and don't forget to join the cc i will catch you guys on the next one thank you